I was in TK Maxx and I saw this light and I thought, it looks like a space gun, so I'll buy it. Really, that's exactly why I bought it. It looks like a space gun and it's got a trigger and everything. It's great. So let's uh, open it up and take a look. First thing to note, it does come with three AAA batteries. Now, AAA batteries are not exactly what you call the best choice for a high power light. But um, it's also debatable whether they're going to be alkaline cells or they're just going to put in the cheapest zinc chloride ones they could just to basically say they're supplying it with batteries. So there it is. Let's uh, get the thing out. Let's take a look at those batteries. I can see the clip here. Oh, it's got uh, one of those holders suggesting that it might be possible. So what sort of batteries are they? It doesn't say alkaline. Does it say alkaline? Uh, it says something in very, very small text. Mercium cadmium free, that's no good. It says it's alkaline. That's a good start in a way. I wonder if uh, this will actually accommodate a lithium... Oh no, it's not going to accommodate a lithium cell because it's a double spring contact. That's a bit crap. Oh, not to worry. Can you put it in the wrong way round? Can you put it in the right way round? It's all gone wrong already. There it goes. So uh, it's got a trigger to actually fire the beam, which is quite a bright beam. It's focusable. That's very loose. That is just not, there's no friction to that at all, it just spins. Um, and then I think this is a locking switch for eating the battery faster. Okay, good start. Let's, uh, oh, it, you have to click that off. I, I was hoping you, when you pushed the trigger it would actually release it again. It doesn't. So let's uh, dig a screwdriver out uh, and open this up. Is this going to be easy to open up? Do I have to use a, a bit of brute force to get the end bit off? Or not sure. Let's uh, pop this open. What I'm really looking for here is whether it's got any active current limiting the circuitry. I've got a horrible feeling it's not. I think it may be relying just on the internal impedance of the cells to limit the current. That may be one of the reasons they've used uh, the triple A's. If we can ever live in hope that it might contain some sophisticated circuitry. Ooh, it's kind of opening, but not really opening. It's, it's not going to open until I've got the, this end off. Can I get the end off this? There's a sort of retaining ring. I don't know if this just... Am I going to use brute force? That's, it's making crunching noises. That's, that's the thing clipping back together. No, that's not coming off, is it? Uh, maybe I have to release it with this ring. What can I do for that? Long those pliers. Is this going to work? It's not really... It doesn't even feel like a proper... In fact, that may require a special tool because that, that is an aluminium locking ring in there. That's quite annoying. It feels like it needs to be a six-sided locking locking ring removal tool. But no, it's coming out. It's coming out. Is this just going to reveal the lens? Or is it going to reveal something else? Is it going to come out? Visually, it's quite appealing. There is a lens. Oh, right, okay. Right, so there's this... Uh... Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Is it going to come out yet? No, it's not. What about uh, if I then try and get the LED out by putting this into the... Oh, right, that's coming out now. Let's get that little shot glass with a suspicious red dye on it out the way. More about that red paint, that red stuff later, because it's quite interesting. It's thermally reactive. In fact, can I prove that now by just putting my hand on it and trying to heat that? That's uh, just nothing to do with this video whatsoever. But I'm just going to try and heat this and show it changes colour. So it's red and it might change colour. I should actually just leave this to its own video. Anyway, it goes yellow. It's going yellow at the edges. Yeah. Anyway, distraction. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Not that it's actually coming out terribly easily. Oh, it is now. Right, can I get it out yet? Yes, I can. Does it have more screws? Oh, it's got a little plug. 
that's a nice feature. Does it have anything else? Not really, no. So, a couple more screws, and this should come apart completely. And it has a micro switch, a battery contact, the plug going out to the LED, and then the LED with no current limiting at all. Well, that's not much of a surprise, is it? Um, so what can I say? It uses AAAs, which is disappointing. It means that uh, it, they're not going to last a huge length of time, but it does open the possibility of using rechargeable nickel metal hydride ones. Would have been nice if it had uh, been fully rechargeable. I notice at the bottom here, this little plate comes out that suggests it may have been designed to have a charging port in the bottom. So maybe they had a plan to do a lithium battery version. I don't think a lithium cell would even fit in there, would it? The Actually, it's not far off. They may have had the plan to put an 18650 in the back of it. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, inside the Rolson, whatever it's called, uh, 3 watt. Uh, Z5 Focus Spotlight, it's really just three triple A's, a micro switch, uh, battery contact and the LED and that's it and quite a complicated assembly.